Happy Newt, just kidding. We're live on TikTok. We have a pile of nine very snoozy beans. This is like snoozy beans on TV or snoozy beans TV. And okay. Here we have mamas and babies and mamas and babies. Hi everyone. Hi Lisa. Hi Katsy. Hi Cassandra. Hi Shelly. Hi. Hi Casey. We have some packages to open today. I don't know how many, but I think we'll get through them all. And that's all the packages I have because none came to the office today. First weekday in a while where we didn't put Karen the receptionist through her paces. Made my day just a little bit easier, but that's okay. Welcome everyone. Welcome to you all. There we go. TikTok just told me more likes can attract viewers. Keep it up. So make sure you guys do that. Tap, tap, tap in the like button. Till the hearts get going, then get the second finger into it and bub 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 bub. We'll try to get 100k today. I don't know if we're gonna get enough viewers. It seems like a really small attendance today. Seems like our attendance might be low. That's okay. If it is, we'll cry ourselves to sleep. Hi, Chris Mullen. There you go. There's a brilliant framing of a mama cat cleaning her buns. Just beautiful. Baule sleeping on the cat tree. Cherle helping Mama Sangha clean herself. And all the little kittens are asleep. I'm sure they're going to wake up at some point, but you guys are here to open packages, not fluff around. So why don't we get started? Oh, thank you to the people who've gotten the TikTok live gifting kicked off. If we hit one of our three TikTok live gifting goals, we will do a kitten close-up of the top gifter's choice. We'll go boink and show it to the camera for a little bit and then put it back down. But yes, nine kittens sleeping right here. And at least nine packages here, maybe more. This one, caution heavy. Pretty weird. We don't usually get that. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you, Linda. This one weighs 29.3 pounds. So we're going to get this out of the way right now. First thing. That's what we're going to do. First thing is this extremely heavy one because I'm curious what's inside. We'll find out. Might just be jugs of water. <laughs> it is not jugs of water. It is cans of beef. This is perfect. Okay. So basically, long story short, Vokra, the rescue who I foster for. Um, oh, we got a little set of eyes on us over there. This guy up here. Uh, Vokra the other day said that our community food bank, we do community food bank uh, for local people in need. They were saying that our wet food supply is nil right now. So I thought I'd put a little bit of wet food on the wish list so we could have at least something to give out to those kitties in need whose parents come by Vokra asking. And this is three chonky 24 packs of some friskies gravy pleasers. Let's find out who those are from. Move those off to the side so they're out of the way. Let's see who our kind, generous soul is today. I think it will come as no surprise that today's kind, generous gifter is the one and only Auntie Fluffy, a.k.a. Linda McKee, one of our greatest, largest uh, gifters of all time. So thank you, Linda, for that. I will be going to Vokra on Thursday because the Vancouver Orphan Kitten Rescue Association is having our AGM. And of course, I'm a board of directors member. So we're having our AGM at uh, a nearby community center. I'll be doing the audio in that for for the Zoom meeting. 
for the meeting, microphone and stuff. And I'll be stopping by Vokra first to drop off some stuff, get some food for these guys, and I'll bring that food there. AGM is an annual general meeting. It is part of the running of an organization. Uh, so all the members of the organization who are the donators and volunteers of Vokra who are members in good standing can come there and chat and we elect board members. Uh, my term doesn't end this year, so I'm not up for re-election. I will be still a board member regardless of what happens at this meeting, unless Vokra somehow dissolves, which it is not planning to. But there you go. Thank you, Linda McKee, for this lovely gift. Where did I put the packing slip? Okay, I put it over there. Got it. Man, these little logs are still absolutely sleeping. They aren't doing anything. Our likes aren't going up quick enough. I know we don't have a big audience, though, so I won't blame you. We'll work on that later. Let's check out this. Here we have a parcel, all covered in tape. Oh, kittens are never too big for their mommies, are they? Everyone wants a rub from their mommy. A little massage from mom. Lots of love from Sangha de Charolais. We'll open a package. While Shirley enjoys her life. It's heartwarming to see it. Yes, that's right, Casey. We believe that the one with the white here is the mom of both Shirley and Baole. They, we believe they're from a previous litter of hers. All right, this package has no packing slip. And this is <laughs> and this is funny, but it is three bags of white chocolate chips, which must mean that Victoria is getting a hint that she needs to make cookies. <laughs> From Auntie Fluffy, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Fluffy. This will go good with uh, Victoria's baking habits. So we appreciate that. Just today I was wishing that we had some cookies in the house. So now we have the means. No more excuses. <laughs> Just kidding. We have a baby and stuff. So Victoria doesn't get to bake quite as much as she used to. But she still bakes every week. She finds time. Oh, I wish you could hear them. They're all purring away. Maybe I can help. Covered in litter dust because their mums have decided this is the litter box to use. All right, let us continue on. Oh no, is she nursing again? It truly is mummy time with Sangha today. Okay, Sangha, you don't need to express Shirley. Anyway, we'll let them do their thing. No harm done. Let's do an envelope this time. Because the UK isn't eight hours ahead again yet, I think we're missing out on some of our England watchers because for them it's quite early in the morning. All right. Here's another gift from Linda McKee. I'm ses sensing a theme today. Linda must have gone on one of her uh, epic uh, kindness binges today. There we go. There's someone from England in the chat. Hi, Marina. Nice to see you. It's quite early in Zoe. And in this wondrous gift from Linda, we have... Oh. Oh, my. This is a very suitable gift indeed. This is a nice farmer shirt. Wrangler. Kitten Wrangler. It's a nice farmer shirt for the kitten farmer. You know what? In proper tradition, I should probably put that on. 
wonder if I could just, you know, sit this so you can look at the kittens while I do it. Yeah, you can just do that and I'll put on my new kitten wrangler shirt. Oh yes, fits perfectly. Cannot complain. I'm gonna look like a million bucks now. That is nice. Okay guys, we got the full length mirror here so you can see. I'm looking good in my new farmer shirt. What a fit on that one, eh? Looks a little bulky there. Now that's just because I'm wearing my overalls. I put it on over my overalls. See, I'm wearing my milk white overalls today in honor of these milky ladies. <laughs> anyway, that's a lovely gift. It looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Fluffy. You've been able to dress up your farmer for once and not in over overalls this time. All right. Looking good. You know what? I could probably even wear this to work, but it's a perfect farming shirt. It's a great color. I like this muted color. Very cool. There's a little bit of green in there. Some kind of salmon-y colors. Cream. Just like the olden days. All right, let's keep going. I want those kittens to wake up, but I guess I caught them at a really sleepy time. Delulu says good morning from Greece, and I'll say good evening from Canada, because for me it's still nighttime. Oh, there's a duck from Chris Mullen. Thank you. Now, before I open it, this one is very firm. It's a firm, flat object. Let's find out what that is. Vera says good morning from Sweden. Well, good evening from Canada. What do we have here? This is entirely wrapped up. Is this for my baby? Should I not open this? Her birthday's already passed, though, so why don't we open it and find out what it is? Is it addressed to someone else? Who's it addressed to? No, it's addressed to Michael Sheldrake. That's me, so I'm going to open it. I'm going to pretend this is for me, even though it's... Probably for Dar or something. But I'm sure you guys are curious what what we have here. Now we got 80 people in here. This is good, so let's figure it out. Welcome everyone. Every new person who come in. Okay, someone says it's for Dar. That's great. Chris, I'm opening it anyway. Because why not? Holy, that's very cool. That must be custom. That's very cool. Look at that. It says Dara on it. This one's kind of moved a little. Let's see if we can kind of slide that back up in there. But it says Dara. Isn't that the cutest thing? And she loves these little shapes, you know, picking the shapes out and putting them in. She can sometimes even put them in the right spots. That's really nice. Dara. We love it. We love it very much. So I'm going to assume this is from Chris Mullen because she said said it was for Dara. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, there is there is air potato on it. It's this guy right here, the golden tabby right there. Good good point, Lisa. That is definitely a golden tabby. So there's air potato. Love it. And a volleyball. A bau. There's a bau. Air potato. A dino. Flower. A unicorn. And her name. There, there's something on the back. Okay. Oh, we can't see it. But it says, I think we can infer what it says. I think it says, Dear Dara, happy first birthday from Sydney, Australia. Love, Chris Mullen XO, period. I'm pretty sure. Good choices in animals, Chris. That is very, very nice. I'm sorry I didn't make it uh, out of the package for her birthday. I don't think any of these things had arrived by her birthday, though. I pretty much had opened everything before that. Maybe it did, and maybe I didn't get it out quick enough. If so, my apologies. Really nice, though, and I'm glad the, the wood didn't get busted in transit. It's even got a little stand for standing it up, I guess. That's very cool. 
Love it. Thank you, Delulu. Thank you for such kind words. Delulu saying they're a regular watcher on YouTube. I appreciate that. Oh, on the 36th, well, that's a date that doesn't exist. <laughs> anyway, that's really nice. I'm sure Victoria is going to be uh, blown away by that when she wakes up tomorrow. I love it. Let's keep going. It must be custom. I don't think they just sell a random Dara thing on, on the internet. It's got to be custom. Okay. What do we have here? This is a gift from Linda McKee. Enjoy your gift from Linda McKee. Okay. This is a box with a book in it. What the fluff is that? I could pee on this and other poems by cats. <laughs> Sometimes meow just doesn't quite get the point across. Okay, so these are poems. Let's see if we can read an excerpt from one of these. <clears throat> Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Why are the walls a different color? Something's not right. When did we get these stairs? Something's off. How did the kitchen move across the floor? Something's going on. Who changed all the homes outside? Something's very odd. Why are you mispronouncing Georgia as New York? Something happened. When you put me in that carrying case, and someday soon, I will figure it out. There you go. Poem from I Could Pee on This and Other Poems by Cats by Francesco Marziliano. Great. Very fun. I think we'll have to be... Uh, when Dar's a little bit older, be reading her little poems from here. Very cool. Very, very cool. Enjoy that. Some uh, poetry to ponder. How are we doing for likes? 21,000. Not the best. We could do better. That's okay. How are we doing on our TikTok live goals? Let's check in. We're 10% uh, of the way there on the ducks. We are probably 8% of the way there on popcorn, and we are over 50% on Tiny Diny. So it looks like Tiny Diny is the gift of choice today. Let's continue with our opening. We'll probably make the Tiny Diny goal today, and we'll be able to do a kitten close-up. Alright, okay, here we have a gift from Linda McKee. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate you. I can tell you've been on a little bit of a spree here. And what we have here is something very necessary for me and the rescue. This is a multi-multi-pack of flea combs. Uh, because sometimes I find I just don't have a flea comb handy when I need one and want to, you know, flea comb the cats. And then I also thought this large pack with 10 of them was about the cheapest cost per comb available on Amazon. So I thought, well, why not take some to Vokra? Because they can run out of those too. So I think this is a really lovely gift for both myself and to donate a bunch of them to Vokra. So thank you, Linda. Your generosity is, you know, out of this world. Can't believe it. Too kind. Oh my goodness, do you guys want to have a little close-up of Beefalo here? Look how Beefalo is sleeping. I'll use my uh, neck harness to get this nice and close, but look at Beefalo. Oh, beefy, look at those beans. Look at those Beefalo beans. Hi, friend. Is he having dreamies? Yes. He's having beautiful dreamies. There's Piney Woods, Chillingham, Randall, Finn, and here are the four voids. Hard to tell who's who 
in this configuration, although if I had to guess, that's Angus. The rest I'm not sure. So cute. <laughs> These two mums are still in the exact same spot and Bao still in the cat tree. We're doing good. We're doing good here. We're having a good time. Thank you to everyone who's sending TikTok live gifts. For those of you who didn't watch my video today, I have expanded this uh, clear pen. I want the kittens to get out of it. I want them out, but uh, I want them to uh, litter train just a little bit more first. So I'm keeping them in for another day or two while they litter train. Cool. Hey, why don't we go to a box next? Here's a box. Oh, back to nursing your mama. Okay. Did we hit a goal? Is someone saying we hit a goal? No way. I'll have to check that. We hit the goal already? We did. We hit the tiny tiny goal. That's amazing, guys. Great. Okay, so after this package, why don't we do a close-up of a kitten? Let's see, who's going to be choosing? The number one gifter is currently Mama Cat 2, which is anti-fluffy. So, Linda, you can choose a close-up kitten while I open this box. We made a goal. We did it. Pretty exciting. We started the live slow, so I wasn't sure we'd get there. But now we're up to almost 100 people, so we're doing well. Ah, uh, yes, and Linda McKee, Auntie Fluffy, continues to send us the goodies. Enjoy your gift from Linda McKee. Today, ooh, that's quite large. This is Juicy Gum A's, meaning it, I think it's Canadian. So yeah, so you see we have the moose, uh, the beaver, uh, the maple leaf. Oh my goodness, we even got hockey sticks and eh. These are Canadian, eh? Eh? So there's a lot of delicious gummies in here. Can't wait to give those a try. Victoria is notorious. Oh yeah, Canadiana gummies. There you go. 500 grams. That's a shitload. Uh, new, uh, Victoria is uh, notorious for loving gummies. And I like them too. So there you go. Amazing. Oh, Jorginho says, Hi, Michael Kitten Master. That is me, Michael, the Kitten Master. Hi, Jorginho. Welcome. And hi, Tanya. Titania has arrived. So that there's another uh, English person. And Linda has said she wants the close-up to be fiel. So, okay. And we also have not only gummies in this box, but also... A delightful box of cornflakes, which, believe it or not, is one of my favorite cereals of all time. I just really love cornflakes, so this is great. I don't think uh, cornflakes used to be a good price on Amazon, but they are again. And uh, I'm glad to see these come across my desk, because I will chow on those. And look at them, sugar-wise, only 3 grams of sh sugar per... 29 gram serving. Well, 29 gram serving is probably like a fifth of a bowl for me, so whatever. But anyway, looking good. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi, Laura. Hi, everyone. We're doing a close up of Fiel for Auntie Fluffy. Where is Fiel? Let's go right into the pen to find him. Let's crouch down and look. Oh, my goodness. Look at the length and the girth on this one. That is just a fluffy tube right there. Meat tube philosophy. This is beefalo. So cute. Hey, where's Fiel? There he is. He's blending into the voids. Is this moist or just cold? Checking to see if it's moist or just cold. Might be a little moist. I'll change some bedding later. The floor seems dry. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there's definitely some moisture here. Have to clean that up. Maybe someone had a pee. 
Okay, here's Fiel. Our little Swedish mountain cow. Look at that spotty belly. Calm, beautiful guy. Let's check his beans. Mm, he's got dark beans, but they look... Well, yeah, black beans. They used to look like kidney beans when he was little, but they've darkened up a little bit. He's fluffy. He's a fluffy guy. Look at that face. Perfect symmetry. Creepy symmetry. Always what we're looking for in a calendar kitten. He's got a good attitude. <laughs> he just wants to get back home to his broskies. There you go. Give you a little extra close-up of these nerds, too. Hi. Hi, Beefalo. Randall. And are you who I thought you were? Yes, that is Angus. That is actually Angus. Very nice. Piney Woods. And these three voids who I can't see their face, so I'm not sure. Oh, chomp! Ha <laughs> got you. Got you, little bubblegum beans. Got you. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the task at hand. Don't want to be here all night because I'm going to clean up their bedding because it feels like there's a little bit of moisture there. So let's continue on. We have three packages left. There's very little chance that we're going to get 200,000 likes, but maybe we can get to 50,000 at least if you keep tapping that. And I'll open this next. Jedi Bartender says, could they be any cuter? Yes, they could. Did you see Air Potato as a baby? He was certainly cute. Although, look at little Beefalo on the Cactor there. Alright. Is there a packing slip here? No, I don't think so. But this could be farm... Oh, okay, that is cool. What is this? What is this? At first when I looked at this, it reminded me a bit of a hamburger. Now it reminds me of a weird... plant monster. They have not started weaning yet. We're not, up, we're not giving them food yet. Maybe later in the week or next week. So look at these little things. I mean, they kind of look like potatoes. Are these potatoes in the dirt? Someone let me know. Are these potatoes in the dirt? Brown carrots? I love this thing, though. Here we have... What the frick is that? Sweet potatoes? Guys, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> you turn him upside down, and then when you pull him out, he's got a happy little face. Blunk. Hi. I love it, though. It's a little potato patch. It's perfect for our farm theme. As you guys know, we already have the carrot patch, so that's nice. Now we've got a potato patch. Amazing. <laughs> I hope when they get out, they rip the potatoes out. That's perfect. That's right. Kevin says it's a snuffle mat, and uh, he's right. You can put little treats under them, and dogs will pull them out or whatever. Maybe we can get cats to do it, too. I don't know. I like it. Sure suits the room. Our farm-themed items people are buying from the wish list sure are making this room look good. We got it. Well, that fell over, but it's a cow cat bed. We got a nice sunflower, a little barrel. Some cozy beds in barn colors. Nice greenery cat tree. We've got an actual barn. We've got a little orchard tree, a carrot patch, tater patch. We've got a bearded clam cat bed. We've got a hen sitting on her chicks. We've got a cow. We've got a carton of dairy milk. And a little bit of furniture there. Overall, we just have a really good room going with lots of little vegetable toys. Corn, eggplants, and the like. And we have little Randall, the cow, munching on his siblings. Just chowing down on the poor sleepy tigers. Randall, why won't you let them sleep? You're being a bad brother right now. He's just going chomp, chomp, chomp on sleeping siblings. 
pretty funny. Oh, all right, guys. Thank you for sending the TikTok live gifts there. Thank you, Morgana, Cassandra. Thank you, everyone who's sending gifts. Linda. Thank you, guys. We only have two gifts left, I think. That's okay. We're doing good. We're going to make 50,000 likes today. We have 100 viewers. We've got beautiful kittens. We've got sleepy mamas. Let's open the second to last gift. Okay. There we go. Let's find the packing slip. Oh, nice. Okay, so here we have a gift from Linda McKee. Linda's on a rampage. This is a train. Linda's sending us a whole train of packages. Thank you, Linda. Thank you very much. And in here we have one of the most necessary things ever for this litter. If you can believe it, we have what? One, two, three. This is 10 9 inch stainless steel plates, which are so necessary for this litter because we're about to have 12 cats running around in here. You know how hard it is to keep dishes clean for serving them food? Once these guys need food, there we go. Look at these big, beautiful plates for serving cat food. How perfect is that? These are nine inches. They're not very thick. They're quite thin, but that helps keep the cost down. They're only for kitty meals anyway, so the thinner the better, really. Keep them nice and light. And we got a whole stack of those. So these kittens will be able to be fed from dishes like this. So thank you very much, Auntie Fluffy. Well appreciated. These are good. These are nice. Perfect timing. Because they'll probably be eaten by next week, right, kitties? Right, baby Randall? Someone said they wanted to see baby Randall for 50,000 likes, and that is not the deal. But I'll show them to you anyway, because I'm nice. Hi, baby Randall. I'm sorry that I made the walls taller today so you can't do your escapees anymore. I know you're upset about it, but we can still be good friends. You're super cute. Everyone loves you. And you're brave, like Spud. Such a sweetie. Love this guy. Hi, Randall. Don't be sad, my friend. You're okay. We love ya. Okay, there we go. Back you go, Randall. And we got one more package to open. Oh, wait. Something else came out of that little pack. And it is some... It's just some earbud tips for me. So thanks, Linda. Appreciate that. Just some earbud tips. Because I'm always trying to find a way to be comfortable in my in-ear buds. And I like the memory foam ones. And these ones are kind of an interesting shape. So I put them on the list so I could try them out. These are a kitten farmer quality of life item. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'll try those out later. You always spoil me, Auntie Fluffy. Can't wait until, you know, Vancouver 2025 or maybe some other random time when you come to Vancouver to, and we can meet or if I can ever go to Ohio or that area of the planet, we can say, hey, I know it's going to happen one day. For sure it's going to happen one day. Randall, let it go, buddy. He just likes me ousing around. So here's quite a large package. Little Randall for scale. But it's light. This is only, uh, this is only, what was it? Not a lot. A few pounds. Three, three, four pounds, I think. So not heavy at all for such a big box which probably means it's just going to be a giant box with something tiny inside but we'll figure that out as you can see i'm still wearing my new kitten farming shirt quite nice oh i know what this is that's great that is great a greater gift was never bestowed upon the kitten farmer. This is 
another sifting litter box of this style. This is the best style that I've found for pine pellet litter that isn't absolutely astronomically expensive. I quite like this one. I don't know if it's only with the brand Arm & Hammer. I think it's been licensed by other brands before. But I like this one because the plastic isn't very thick and it's a little bit flexible so it doesn't break. But because the plastic here isn't thick, it doesn't cake with uh, the wet sawdust as much. It's much easier to tap it through. And I only have a couple of them. One of them's upstairs and one of them's in here, but I really wanted another one, so that makes me happy because Vokra does not have any of this sifting pen left in their archives. We have about <laughs> we have about 300 litter boxes at Vokra, and we have this style of litter box, but we don't have this sifter. If we did, I'd get more, uh, but I I from just from Vokra, but I don't. So this one's great. This one's brand new, so I might put it in my house, or maybe I'll use it in in here. Um, this is, this makes my life easier. So thank you very much. Let's see if there's a packing slip on who sent that. Let's find out that Auntie Fluffy sent that. There is not a packing slip in there, but I'm going to, oh no, I found it. There it is. It came out crinkled and it is indeed the one and only Linda McKee, Auntie Fluffy. That is amazing. Thank you. You're too kind. I don't deserve you. Or if I do, I don't realize that I do. Oh, Piney Woods is up. Hi, Tiny Piney. Cassandra. Cassandra Rokan says they learned that I'm local to them. Well, if you're in Vancouver, absolutely am. I'm in the Vancouver area of BC, Canada, for those of you who don't know. We've made it to 65,000 likes. That's really good, guys. You guys have really started to smash that like button. We've done really well. Here's little Cheryl A. Sitting pretty down on the floor. I'd love to give her a pat. She's usually a little bit timid. But she does love my pat. So let's see. Can I give you a pat, Cheryl A? Just a little one? Oh, yes. Just a little one. Yes. Oh, there you go. Ambaole doesn't really like me yet. But she will take a pat if I get near her. She doesn't bite. Randall's playing with some corn all by himself, and I want to clean it up because I think I felt a little bit of moisture. Whoa, thank you, Linda. Thank you very much for that dancing duck TikTok live gift. How did we end up doing on our goals? Well, we got there on tiny dinies. We got about 50% of the way on popcorn, 40% of the way on the ducks. So we did get one, which is nice. Thank you, Manda. Have you been spotted recently, Michael? Do you mean, like, have I been recognized in public? Because if you do, I think you know that I was recognized in public at a donut shop in Vancouver on Sunday. Pretty hilarious. Someone uh, called out to me, hey, are you that cat guy? And I turned and looked at him and I said, you know who I am. And uh, we shared a few minutes of conversation and they... Turned out they had watched my videos for a while and they ended up fostering for Vokra because of that. So that was pretty cool. Very, very nice person. A gal a little younger than me, probably. And uh, yeah, we had a really neat run-in at a donut shop in Vancouver. <laughs> I do love donut shops. I Yeah, Emma says, wow, you're famous, Michael. I can now say I've met someone famous. Yeah. That's right. That's just me. You know me. Super famous kitten farmer guy just getting recognized in public at donut shops when he's buying a little bit of dessert for his family. <laughs> anyway, that's it. We've done it all. We made 70,000 likes. Our pace is absolutely uh, determined. I appreciate it. But I need to get off of here and clean up this uh, mess because I think one of the kittens must have had an accident or some water got under one of these things somehow. Uh, there's a bit of moisture underneath the sleeping pad. So I'm going to get out off here and change that. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you, as usual, everyone who went to our Amazon wish list and bought these items, including Linda and Chris and everyone else who has ever sent me items from the Amazon wish list. That's amazing. It is in the bio on my TikTok page, along with a whole bunch of other links, like the best way to support 
the creation of my content, which is Patreon. If you join at level two or higher, you are considered a community co-owner of Air Potato. And I did just get a new patron today, so thank you very much. I sent you a little message. You know who you are. I appreciate you. Um, otherwise, if you want to continue the fun, we do have this on 24-7 live stream. 24-7, all day, every day on Twitch and YouTube. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to Twitch for free once per month and watch ad-free. And the channel gets a couple of bucks. If you're already paying for Amazon Prime anyway, stop in and pawn off your per, your little uh, subscription on me. Anyway, that's me giving my plugs, my little advertisements at the end of the show. Appreciate you all. Thanks for being here. And I will catch you later. Hope you're well. See you on the live stream. There's always lots of people chatting there. YouTube, Twitch. See you there. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.